hear me out. If you are one of those people that voted on Instagram that I do this video instead of sleeping, I'm leaving you to God. If for some reason you've been living under a rock for the past couple of months and you don't know what's going on and you're just wondering why is it that everyone has suddenly made pink their favorite color, let me inform you, my love. The Barbie film comes out on the 21st of July, but that's not even the gag. Do you want to know what the gag is? Zara came out with her Barbie fragrance. Listen, these fragrances sold out so quickly. When I say quickly, they went like hot bread, mate. They sold out so quickly. But if you want to hear my thoughts on it, please continue to watch. Welcome on people and welcome back to my YouTube channel and if this is your first time seeing one of my videos my name is Coco and on this channel I mostly speak about perfumes so if that's something that you're interested in, you can go ahead click that subscribe button you know join the family thank you very much guys you see this it says Zara you see this it says Barbie oh my god Zara big up yourself big up yourself Zara a Mattel collaboration Big up yourself, Zara. Yeah. You know who I thought would have jumped on this opportunity? What's that cupcake company's name? Um, House of Siage. I thought they would have just jumped and grabbed this opportunity coming out with a Barbie collaboration. I mean, they have Minnie, they have Harry Potter. I really thought they would have come out with a Barbie collaboration, but alas, Zara done it first. Mind you, I've never smelt a cupcake before. I mean, they look really pretty, but they're super expensive. I mean, <laughs> And the shipping cost to the UK is super extortionate. I put two discovery sets in my basket. Tell me why the shipping cost was more than the actual products. Bye, man. <laughs> at, at, I'm straying. Hey, bring it, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Quick talk about the packaging. I won't stay long because I know that you've seen this box all over social media, yeah? Pink glittery box, but the glitter is only on three sides. The bit where it has the price tag doesn't have the glitter, it's just smooth. As for the bottle, it's the same cylindrical bottle as they're coming out now with all of their fragrances, but it's pink with silver lid. The price for this in the UK is £22.99, you know, round it up one P, it's £23. But tell me why I've seen them on social media and people are selling them for like triple and fuple the price. I see you guys. Hustlers, I see you. <laughs> I won't lie to you. I think the production for these seemed hella rushed. I think like Mattel told Zara, listen, you have two days to come up with a pink packaging surrounding the Barbie theme. Cause my bit hair, I don't know if you guys can see that. It rocks like the silver bit hair. It rocks, but I mean, it doesn't affect the sprayer. Nah, so I really shouldn't complain. Now let's get into what this actually smells like. The first spray for this, yep, we have fresh citrus, we have green, and we have slightly bitter. The neroli in this is strong, loud and strong. The sweetness of the orange blossom is literally trying to breathe. Like you can smell the sweetness, but it's being stifled by the neroli. It's like, it's looking at him like, fam, can I get some space please? Like, give me a little spears, give me a little spears. Give me a little spears, give me a little spears. The rose that's in the middle notices what's happening and then it steps in to comfort the orange blossom. It then, you know, gives the orange blossom like a soft cuddle, you know, a nice hug as it surrounds it with this soft and delicate powderiness. It's a soft, somewhat fruity rose with loads of powder. The orange blossom then begins to shine from the love and affection from the rose and the bitterness from the neroli is now chilling in the background. I must mention as well that I do get a bubblegum accord in this fragrance. I actually thought that tuberose was listed, but it's not. As the dry down begins to take place, the creme de la cremes walk in. The vanilla and the tonka bean, oh my God, do you know what? I'm gonna add a couple more notes because Zara decided to leave off a few notes. Zara, we're catching on, yeah? Listen, there's marshmallow in here, there's musk, and there's a tiny bit of caramel. But Zara just decided to list tonka beans and vanilla. Zara, you ain't slick. The dry down for this is sweet and creamy, okay? Creamy, but think a milkshake creamy, yeah? Walk with me. Say you're having a cup of milkshake, you know, blend it out with ice, 
but there's some ice at the bottom of the cup that hasn't been you know blended out completely so that starts to melt in your milkshake so now your milkshake is not as thick but it's not watery either but you know you're still getting that creamy aspect even though the ice has melted but it's still as yummy and creamy yes this is what i get in the dry down of this Moderate sillage and projection with a work days plus longevity. What do I mean by a work days plus? So I work nine to five thirty, so that's like a work day plus because I can smell it at nine when I spray it, and when I leave work at five thirty, I can still smell it. But if I want to be a bit pedantic, I actually leave my house at eight fifteen, so it's really eight fifteen till I get home about six six fifteen, if that makes sense, and I can still smell it. Rallying back to projection, this is not a beast projector. No, you won't be able to smell me from a mile away. No, but you can smell me like at a little distance. Does that make sense? A little distance. And what I've come to realize about this fragrance is the more it warms up on your skin, is the more it projects. It's a subtle, but you can still smell me type of sillage. And after that five to six hour mark, it does indeed become a skin scent, but I can still get whiffs of it as I move about. My Creme Brulee by Laura Mercier is such an amazing base for Barbie. Oh my God, this is delicious. It's simply edible. Anytime I wear this as a base, people legit want to take a bite out of me, like, this is so sweet it's luxurious it's delicious but as i said it's super sweet if you would like the more toned down version of this i'd say go for the ambre vanilla i think that's what it's called or ambre vanilla but this is just super sweet super edible like the whole cream itself is just like a luxurious feel or you could just use your fenty i know that people might be tired of me talking about this but hey <laughs> Rihanna, she didn't know what she had though, yeah? Rihanna knew what she was doing. Now let's get down to business. Do I think that this is gonna be a love for everyone? No, this is a super sweet and powdery fragrance. Not everyone's gonna get along with this. There's loads of rumors going around the internet about this fragrance and there's no full review. People are already conjuring up ideas and conditioning their minds to what they want this to smell like. Hello, that's how you set up yourself for disappointment. As I always say, go and test these fragrances for yourself or just wait on a full in-depth review from a content creator you trust. When I had went to the store to test this, the first spray, I was super underwhelmed. There was screechiness, there was bitterness, there was, I, I even got syntheticness. Hello? I was super underwhelmed. I was like, oh my God, no. But you know what I did? I let it settled on my skin. So I walked around as I looked at the other Barbie collection. Listen, the Barbie collection to me, two out of 10, they could have done better. Half of these clothes, the bags, the glass, no, they could have done better. As I said, this production just seems rushed. So by this point, I'm just walking around looking at all the clothes. Listen, looking, because why, you know, I can't fit in their clothes, but I'll wear their perfumes. <laughs> so after I finished looking at the clothes, I went back to record myself putting on the shimmering oil. Thing is, there was a lot of people surrounding the fragrances. So, you know, I had to take a walk, you get me? So I'm recording myself putting on the shimmering oil. The shimmering oil, oh my God. I wish it was gold and not silver with a blue hue, but we move. But the sheen on the shimmering oil, oh my God, sensational. Sensational. <laughs> So after I put the shimmering oil on, listen, I drenched my hand in perfume. Still was not impressed. I was waiting for the magic, do you know what I mean? Because it wasn't giving what it was supposed to give at the time. I don't know if because I was testing fragrances before in Sephora and I've gone a bit, you know, anosmic to everything, but I wasn't getting the Barbie. I wasn't getting the notes that they put up on there. I, was, I wasn't getting anything. So now I'm making my way home, but I had to stop at the supermarket. Walking through the supermarket, I'm walking past the security guard and he goes, oh my God, you smell good. Confused, I said, thank you. And I continued walking. Then I proceeded to walk over to the croissants because I was in Lidl, listen, Lidl's croissant, top tier. Argue with yourself, yeah? Yeah. So now I'm at the croissant section, yeah? Choosing my croissants to put in my basket. And a lady comes up to me and she goes, sorry, I don't mean to intrude, but may I ask what you're wearing? At this point, I'm like, what's going on? Why is it that everyone's complimenting me, but I can't smell this damn thing? She goes, you can't smell it? I'm like, no, I can't. Guys, I walked around to the cereal bit and I had to like raise my hand up to get the cereal, guys. That's when it hit me. I was like, wait, is that me? I was, I was like, is that me? 
And then every time I went up to pick some, I was like, I was slowly getting impressed. I was like, oh my God, now I understand. I don't know what was wrong with my noise, but the smell was coming through now. I left little now and I got home and I'm washing my hands, guys. I'm washing my hands and I can still get wafts of the fragrance from my forearm. Listen, this grew on me. Guys, it grew on me. Moral of the story, don't be like me. Don't be Hurry Mac Harrison, yeah? No, let the fragrance settle on your skin. You know, let it warm up to your body before you make judgments, yeah? And this is why I don't do first impressions. Because if I had ever done a first impression of this, it would have been a no from the get-go. When testing Barbie, four fragrances come to mind. We have Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, Princess by Killian, Oriana by Parfums de Mali, and Ansem Gold by Latafa Pride. So with Love Don't Be Shy, it has all the notes. With Killian's Princess, it's just that marshmallow. That marshmallow that's in there, it's in here. As for Oriana by Parfums de Mali, that Neroli that's at the opening in this is the same Neroli that's in the opening for Oriana. And as to Ansem Gold, it's literally a dupe for Oriana, so it's the same. The Neroli, yeah, it's the same. But you see, because of the Neroli that's in the Oriana, for me, did you hear what I just said? For me, this is 80% Oriana and 20% Love Don't Be Shy. For me. Funny enough, a lot of you came into my inbox and you were saying that, you know, to you this is similar to Roy's Marshmallow Candy by Zara as well. Listen, we all have different noises. Whatever you smell is whatever you smell, yeah? But to me, not really. Because firstly, that was in the children's section. You get what I mean? So it, it was really a child's perfume. Secondly, it didn't really have the best longevity. And thirdly, it wasn't even, it wasn't even a dupe for Love Don't Be Shy. To me, it wasn't even a dupe. Yes, they have certain notes in common, but that was just it. Nothing else. But that's just me. Listen to me, yeah? People spray a fragrance on a tester strip, inhale once, get a whiff of all the notes, try to make a comparison to something else, and run with it out of the blocks like Usain Bolt. Listen, chill, blood, chill. Testing fragrances is fundamental. I have the OG Love Don't Be Shy. I have samples of Oriana. I have a bottle of Ansem Gold. So this DNA is pretty redundant in my collection. Do I need this? No, but it's a pretty bottle and I'm just gonna keep it just because of the bottle. You get what I mean? I don't know if this is a limited edition and knowing Zara, it, it possibly is, you get me? So I'm just gonna keep it for the packaging because hello, like a collector's item, if that makes sense. Was I expecting Barbie to smell like this? Truth? No, I expected a sparkly sweet opening with notes of like champagne, cotton candy, lychee and frosted berries. I also wanted a very florally middle. So I was thinking peony, honeysuckle and rose. And for the base, I wanted it to be creamy. So I'm thinking white chocolate, vanilla, tonka beans, sandalwood and some musk. But alas, they gave us this. And this is pink, this smells pink. Don't get me wrong, this is sweet, this is airy, the marshmallow in here is, oh my, it's lush. Yeah. This is pink. I didn't buy this for the smell, I bought it for the packaging. I mean, this could have easily come out smelling like grass and cough medicine, I would have still bought it. I'm not super girly, never have been, and I've never been huge on Barbies, yeah? I've always been like a baby doll type, yeah. But this scent is so much fun to wear. Like it's soft, it's sweet, it's airy. Listen, there's a cloud of fluffy marshmallow. This is so good. I would easily give this a decent 7.5, pushing eight out of 10. Do you want to know what a thought just came to my head? I don't think that this is what Zara is depicting that a Barbie would smell like. But what do I know? I just think that they had this formula in their archives for ages, but Mattel just came along and be like, listen, we need a new formula, start. And they're like, oh, we've been having this and we've been wanting to use it. Now let's just chuck it in a pink bottle and Bob's your uncle. Do you know what? Scratch that. I think it's okay to think that Barbie would smell like this. Like it's citrus, it's airy, it's powdery, it's sweet. There's vanilla and there's marshmallow. Ugh. Do you know what? Why don't you just message me on Instagram and you just told me that this reminds you of red vines. 
is it Twizzlers or Red Vines? And I sprayed it now. You're not wrong. Or is it that because you told me that my mind has conditioned me to think Red Vines? I, I actually smell it. Huh? Would you look at that? See? I need to end this video. <laughs> I've been chatting too much. So my lovelies, if you're looking for a soft, sweet, airy fragrance with a marshmallow and vanillic dry down, look no further. Zara's got you, baby. This is Barbie. Well, there you have it, my loves. That's me done. My review on the new fragrance out by Zara. Barbie, guys, listen. After I edit and put this video out, I'm done. I am off YouTube for a week. I have given you guys content back to back. Guys, I have not slept okay <laughs> i'm gone for a week please understand and recognize allow me to get some sleep know that i love you guys to the moon and back my love no but i need to sleep please and zara i beg you don't release no more fragrance not for now please i'm just thinking out loud right now i cannot believe that i recreated this look and it came out the same way like oh my I'm proud of myself. I am proud of myself. Big up me, big up. You know what, let me stop the chatting and say my goodbyes. <laughs> well, my lovelies, thank you so much for watching. But before you go, don't forget to give me a thumbs up by clicking that like button. Comment down below, what do I want you to comment? Listen, tell me what you wanted this fragrance to smell like. Did you actually expect it to smell like the actual doll? You know that new doll smell? Were you expecting the Barbie fragrance to smell like that? I mean, it couldn't have hurt. It couldn't have hurt there's nothing wrong with this one but it couldn't have hurt to give me like a dull smell fragrance now nah, i'm okay with this one <laughs> bar now nah, i'm good <laughs> share this video with a mate don't forget to subscribe before you go and i guess i'll see you in my next video bye